So every year I make a video about what my life was like that year. And this December, I just turned 28. So here's a video about what my life was like at 27. This year, despite the ups and downs of still dealing with a pandemic, I had a really good year. There were things that I set were important to me at the beginning of this year. I wanted to work, I wanted to focus on writing, I wanted to have better relationships with my friends and my family, I wanted to work out, I wanted to start dating <laughs> again with like actual effort. And for the first time in my life, I feel like I was able to do well in every category of my life that was important to me. I spent a lot of time improving my relationship to myself and continuing to just have a better, healthier inner dialogue. Um, that was a huge transformation that took a long time and is still ongoing, but I feel like I've been reaping the benefits of it and hopefully will continue to benefit from it in the future. I started working out regularly, more consistently, and for longer than I ever had before, and I feel better. I'm in the best shape of my life. Maybe not right now, after the holidays, but in general this year I was and have been in the best shape of my life. I also had a lot of really cool work opportunities. I got my first paid comics writing gig that I can't talk about really. I started working on my first original role-playing game that I intend to actually publish, self-publish, and release. A science fiction TV pilot I wrote called Deadlands placed as a finalist in the ScreenCraft sci-fi fantasy competition, which felt like a really huge validation of all the effort I'd been putting into screenwriting over the last couple years. I visited the Austin Film Festival and had a great time out in Austin. Thanks again to my friend Andrew for letting me stay with him. It was so cool getting to see you and your band play live. All that work has led to me being in the best financial position that I've ever been in, which isn't saying much, but it's still nice to see. And it's also just made me more confident in the direction that I've been going, which has been really nice because it's a hard thing to do, to write and to be creative. And even with all the advantages I have and all the luck that I have, I'm still struggling nine times out of 10. And so having things go well this year has been, has been a huge boost. I spent a lot of time with friends, always, safely. I'm so lucky to be surrounded by such a wonderful group of humans. I feel really, really lucky for the people in my life right now. And even with friends who've had to move away, I've had new friends coming into my life. I got to start going back to LARP again after so long. Um, and that was wonderful. It's something I really enjoy and hadn't gotten to do in a long time. I got some new pictures taken as a way to treat myself and also maybe cement the growing confidence that I've felt over the course of this year. I think you can see how happy I am in these pictures and I feel better equipped to go after my goals and to live life the way I want to live it than I ever have before. Oh, and it's worth mentioning that I continue to bake and cook a lot. I'm a much better chef now than I was at the beginning of this year. So hopefully that's a trend that just keeps on going. I'm really, really excited for 2022. I hope that things go okay broadly for the general human population on earth. Um, and, I know that at least I'm gonna try to keep myself busy with some projects that I'm really excited about and by spending time with people in my life that I really care about. Um, so yeah, that's me at 27 onwards to 28.